Now those people that have been waiting all this time burning gasoline, they're still waiting. Pretty soon they'll be burning their gasoline moving instead of sitting around doing nothing. These people, meanwhile, are going to have to wait. Now if they had electric cars, that wouldn't be, they wouldn't be burning gasoline while they stopped. They would be uh, not, not doing, using any power like I am. Power consumption goes down to almost nothing when I'm stopped. The only thing that I'm burning power on now is the, the fan or that sort of thing. There's no engine for this car to run. There's no gas, no oil. Try to do a smog check. There's no tailpipe. Okay, now finally the light changes and we're able to go. So we take off with our maximum torque. The other cars have to build up their torque because they're dyno cars. Oh, there's a bus rider. Somebody got off a bus. And that bus is powered by natural gas, I hope. <laughs> People that talk about fuel cells, uh, not, that's probably a diesel bus. People that talk about fuel cells should realize that we already have a compressed gas that is clean, which is natural gas. So why would you want to develop a fuel cell where you have to store hydrogen at 10,000 PSI when you already have natural gas that powers buses and trucks at 3,600 PSI? So I, this is probably diesel. Yeah, I guess it is. Oh well, many of them are natural gas.